Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GameStar TV. We're live here on mixer.com forward slash GameStar. If you've just joined us, uh, this is the Gears Esports APAC Regional Series, a competition with 2,800 US dollars of prizes every four rounds. So uh, we've got three qualifier rounds. This is the third qualifier round in phase one, and the next round is going to be on the 10th of December, and that will feature the top four teams playing in best of three matches to see who gets how much of a share of their $2,800. $1,500 going to first place, which is basically what you would have earned in the old uh, 2K, uh, Season 1 2K uh, scheme, but uh, now the difference, of course, is that the winner takes home $1,500, but second, third, and fourth place, uh, if I can list my way through that, is uh, they're also all in the money as well. Fourth place getting $250, third place getting $350, and second place walking home with $700 US dollars. So uh, fantastic support coming through from uh, Microsoft, the coalition, and specifically Mixer.com, who are supporting the gears is as we like to call it here now our next match is just about ready to go uh, and it is going to be none other than uh, checkmates versus rise against they are all uh, pretty much in the lobby so i think we're good to go maiden oz yeah looking good so far so um i might just give them a few more seconds here just spawns and stuff and who goes where so we'll give them a, about another 10 seconds or so and then we'll get it underway so should be a pretty close match. Uh, I think this one for round two is probably going to be the closer one of the matches uh, for round two. So this was uh, my top pick for it. So, yeah, we'll get this one started now. And hopefully it's, like I said, closer than the rest of them will be. Fantastic. Now, as far as the spectators are going, just a reminder, we've got two $20 Steam cards to give away. Uh, it is a little bit of a, uh, a perfect victory because you get $20 New Zealand because that's where I am. And right now, guaranteed, Levi Leviathani, or Lev Leviathaniel, I can't say your name. Sorry, sorry, dude. Uh, but you are going to get one of those $20 because you are providing a bracket link. And that is a fantastic service that you provided. So uh, $20 is going to Leviathanel. Uh, and uh, we've got another $20 to give away. It's pricey, making a play for it. Uh, who wants to take uh, something? Look, Crassus, I don't think that $20 is going to be necessary, as Leviathan I is actually... Uh, so that's just mm. one of my other mixer accounts. So I don't think that's right. We can uh, try and give it off to one of the other Wait, guys. Wait, sorry, what? Leviathan Isle is what? That's me. Oh, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, here we go. We're into the match, ladies and gentlemen. It is... Uh, uh, it is uh, Checkmates versus uh, Rise Against uh, live here on Against the TV. Take it away, mate. Awesome. So we'll be jumping on board here. Um, I believe you will be being flared. Pretty standard as fight season to down at the windshield. Flair does get some big jumps on Legacy Vibe as he gets down. So now he's paying his attention over the pass. He does get the crosses running quickly. So Flair realizing that what he needs to do in this position is playing pretty well at this stage. So to see if he's able to help his team capitalize and get some much needed kills. Gets a big back A flick there on Prassi. So I think he can get another kill here on Gumby or Rock, and that'll be even bigger again. So Flair playing that excellently. Flair already on two kills. Yeah, with potentially in the third. So putting his teammates into a 10 second in triple cap domination. Wow, that's that was really quick and really well executed by. Uh, checkmates here. Uh, sorry, Rise Against, I believe that was. So that was really well to see them playing that quickly. Uh, that they got the kills they needed to and just put the pressure on early. That's it's good to see. Hang on, or Rise Against on um, on Cog. Rise. Yeah, are they? Oh, no, sorry. It was the other way. Sorry, that was Checkmates. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, so I thought so. So Checkmates yeah, like... uh, with a great uh, opening created by Flair. Uh, to pick up that first round and it of course is the first to seven so best of 13 i think it is uh, first to seven uh, points here is the standard we play with the same settings as the rest of the world in terms of gears esports and here we go uh, just about into round number two on harbor with the checkmates on cog and rise against on a swarm here we go we're heading on down let's see where they head to uh, it's going to be all at uh, between the winch and the stern right now uh, let's move on over to lead bed 
Oh, it's a lead there, but he's getting to the fight a little bit late, so... That could prove to be detrimental there with Parsi getting two big kills, so... I'm not sure what Lee what his intent was there. He could have just pulled out a Lancer and crossed for his teammate there. I mean, I get it. He wants to get in the fight and help his teammate, but in doing so, he didn't get his teammate killed, but he got himself killed. So that's the sort of thing where you play up this thing in your mind where he should have got a kill there, but the other side of that coin is he shouldn't have died there as well. So it's not so much that he didn't get a kill and that he should have gotten those kills, it's more that he shouldn't have died. So, a bit of a misplay there. It's, the, the, it's these small things that the top tier teams like the janitors and the mind freaks will punish every time. So, if you want to try and compete at a high level, you need to make sure that you're reducing these small mistakes by every possible margin. So, we've been following uh, It's Pricey. He got taken down by Flair. The COG domination denied, but only just uh, as uh, uh, Lee Bed uh, cleans things up and they are going to get another very quick triple cap here. Took a little bit longer than the previous round but nevertheless they're still 2-0 up and rise against uh, staring at a donut after that second round. Hmm. So it's, it's just small things but these small things in the middle of a match, the small decisions that you make, the small kills that you need to pick up, if you don't do these small things in the correct way or you don't, you know, make the right team decision and you push the wrong area or, you know, get a kill or die somewhere you shouldn't, you can really put your team on the back foot. I mean, even if you get a kill somewhere, if you're in the wrong position, your team can still get triple capped. So it's the sort of thing that you need to try and have that team mentality, how your team is going to win. You need to envision what you want to do, what your fallback strat is and how you want to play out the round before you do it instead of just trying to win it. Don't get me wrong, you do need to have split, uh, split second decision making to be able to be an effective Gears of War player, but it doesn't really seem like the, uh, the Locust team here have much of an idea on where they want to go or what their fallback. Uh, well, uh, perhaps it's all in the heat of the battle, so we won't be too hard on them. We're with Gumby Wright at the moment. He's laying down a lance of fire, looking for a, a player to support. He's got smoke in his face, though. Has to push on forward, rolls away twice, but it's uh, too little, too late. He's taken down, and Mr. Sam with the 23Q, not really sure what the 23Q stands for, uh, cleans things up, and another triple cap, and the fastest one so far yet coming through from the checkmates and uh made we thought uh, we were in for a bit of a close game but unless things turn around uh, it is going one way right now and that is the way of the checkmates yeah look for me th there's really only one to, in my personal opinion you know you take this well there's really only one like, standout player that's you know in my opinion you know, the, the be all and end all, and that is Mr. Sam 23Q, also known as Mo. So he's definitely, I would say, the most individual skilled person in this lobby, but if he's not really having a massive impact. I mean, it's just his team is working better together with him than the uh, team of the Locust. So it's just, yeah, the team fire and the team strats and the confidence is just much higher on the side of checkmates here other than the, uh, as opposed to Buzz again. So we're following Desky right now. He's thrown out one of the shot grenades, I think it is, uh, on this map that was placed uh, just before. Uh, although I wasn't paying too much attention uh, in the in-between round. He's got a Lancer out, uh, just uh, doing his job, uh, sending a bit of Lancer fire over there for the cross and uh, uh, popping a smoke out. Oh, the domination is denied. Uh, he defends his point very well. Uh, so a toe hold on point number C on the C hill. Uh, right now, but it uh, turns. Uh, oh, this is actually the best uh, that we've had so far from Rise Against. Mm. Yeah, that's that's not necessarily the greatest thing when you think about this. Uh, started, so that's not the best for them. So they're just one thing I have noticed is they're kind of playing desperate, and I get it. In this sort of situation, you kind of have to. Um, but you can still play desperately with some sort of form, with some format of how you want to go in there and fight. It just seems like they're very natural heavy, natural out trying to lead them down. I don't feel like they're going to be able to do that. Well, I was following Rakan there for a little bit. He had a sniper out. He took a shot, didn't take anybody's head off, got the body, uh, and then took out his pistol, got taken down by Mr. Sam. Uh, 23Q that we were talking about earlier on. So we're going to stick with Mr. Sam. He's uh, heading on through. He's got a player in support. Gummy Wright is there defending uh, the Sea Hill. He gets taken down. Riken arrives a moment too late, unfortunately. He's going to form a trickle 
through and a 2v1 situation. 120 uh, ticks now in favor of the cog. That's the checkmate. As we stick with Mr. Sam right now, he's had a great round up until now, but Legacy Vibrate clears him away, uh, picks him up for a token meat shield, and then runs on down to the B. Can he get a second in a row? No. He can't, and uh, Mr. Desky clears him away, says, no thanks, B Hill is mine, uh, and holds on to it. Yeah, so it's not, again, it's not individual like performances that I feel like are letting Athrose against down. I think it's a collective, you know, it's a collaborative group. So there's a lot of small things, small, both small mistakes, or even just small things that they're not doing to the full potential that's causing them to lose map control and effectively down. So it's not, I'm not being hard on them when I say they're doing misplaced because it's very minute things that they're not doing correctly. And they have a great potential to be a, a really good team. Like, they've got the individual skill. I just feel like they probably need to play together a bit more. The reason why I thought this was going to be a bit closer is because, like I said, individually these guys do have their, you know, they're all really good players in their own right. It's just this game, Gears of War 3 and Gears of War 2 and all the predecessing Gears of Wars were all very skill-based and very individual performance. You could have one person carry your whole team and you could win no worries because it was execution. But in Escalation, if you don't have the team fire, you're just not going to win. So that's part of the reason why Mon Mind Freak is so dominant here in the OCE and APAC region, is just because there's no other team that has the team chemistry or the, you know, the, the same understanding as they do. All right, here we go into round number five. It's a 4-0 situation right now in favor of the boys in blue. That is the checkmates. We're with uh, Mr. Desky right now. And he's going to sneak around, sneak on around. He's heading towards uh, B-side, I think. That's where the action is. And uh, Mr. Sam23Q says, no, mate, uh, head on over to A because I've got B under control. Desky arrives at A. There's nobody there to defend. Gumby Wright crouching away. Arrive, well, he finally wakes up and walks into the loving arms of Desky's Nasher. Uh, and that is a cleared out once again. The round going uh, in a dominating fashion. Uh, as most of the previous rounds before it to the checkmates and they are looking at a 5-0 situation round uh, now long spawn time is going into round number six uh, before we enter the second half and it has been one way traffic all the way for the checkmates and i've got to say um if the checkmates haven't played mind freak again uh, regardless of whether we've had them on stream now or not, if they play against Mind Freak in the next round, I think we've got to have that match on stream because yeah. they are looking very strong. Yeah, they are. I mean, against Mind Freak, I don't think we're too much of a chance of getting more than two. They are looking strong, and I want to say the big difference, uh, you know, the big key performance indicator is um, low 23 Q or the performance 23 Q. I don't believe he played with this lineup in last week, and look at the difference. Like, he's, he's definitely a, a seasoned Gears of War player who's been in top tier teams, and it's, it's making a massive difference. And that was just a massive triple cap round on 20 second respawns. They just bullied it through. They just ran for the home hills, played that smart. So they've, they've got strats up their sleeve. They've got the team fire, they've got the individual skill, and they've got the leadership and coaching capabilities from Mr. Sam 23 q So I feel like his knowledge and his game sense and just even his individual skill is proving dividends here in this match. So On I've April, just had a, be a lot closer. I've just had a quick look at the rosters that have been registered, and he played in week number one. Uh, yeah, for... yeah, so he played week one, and I believe that team actually uh, week number one. He did play with dubbing up one of the Mind Freak members. He went... Uh, but he didn't play week two, and week two this team sort of fell off a bit, and now in three they're back to their former glory with uh, the uh, instructions of the game playing through here. So here we are into the second half, and it may well be a short half. 6-0 right now in favour of the checkmates uh, as they head into it. So things have shuffled around a little bit. Everything has reset, uh, but what has not... Uh, in fact, what it may well have reset is uh, suddenly Rise Against have a bit of an advantage. They've eat themselves out a tiny little lead right now, and they're in control of D and E. Yeah, it's temporary control at this point. They have got the players where they need to be. Right. 
is just going to be how they manage to hold the defense and how they systematically want to hold it. So what I mean by that is if you lose the initial lot of kills, it's important not to get wiped and be able to defend in backwards positions instead of all just dying. So they did try to all hold that same line of defense and they got wiped because of it. So it is going to be an easy trim cap domination here and a quick 7-0. So it's a bit unfortunate. All right, 7-0 is the score in the end there. The checkmates uh, really laying down the gauntlet and saying, uh, look at us, we are here to play. We're here to win. Mr. Sam, 23Q, picking up uh, 14 kills. So the only player in the server uh, or in the match to get a double uh, or double digits there, 14, and the next uh, closest was nine. Well, that was a very quick round, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to another quick break. We'll do another five-minute uh, timer. Once again, I apologize that there's no music. It's uh, We're just trying to sort out exactly what sort of music we are allowed to play on Mixer.com. Uh, it is still kind of new to us all here at GameStar. Uh, so we'll be back in five minutes with round number three of the Gears Esports APAC Regional Series uh, Phase 1 Week 3 Qualifier.